I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game. So it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. All right then, gamers. It's time for a legendary backpack. And I'll tell you which one it's going to be. It is going to be the Fractal legendary backpack. Why? Multiple reasons. One, I actually haven't got this on my main. So we're going on a brand new adventure. I still get those stupid random collection items when I do daily Fractal summons that just clogs up my head. I delete them. I delete them. Haven't got it. We'll have it on the Zero to Hero, though. Good news. So we're going to go get started on this collection. But that's not the only reason I'm doing this. I also actually have a lot of the Time Gate grind already done. So every legendary backpack, and honestly, a lot of legendary items, they kind of require you... Wait, I just randomly joined a squad now. What the hell? Um, never mind. We don't talk about that. Um, what happens is you got to do a lot of grinding. you got to grind a lot of fractals. you got to do a lot of PvP. you got to do a lot of world versus world. But good news! We've actually already done that with Ad Infinitum because we actually did a whole bunch of fractals while we were getting our, um, while we were going about our business, uh, gearing up and farming some gold. So you can see here that we actually already have, where, where's the thing? We already have most of the fractal research pages. We already have a whole bunch of these things. So if I scroll down, how many more do I need? I need only another six, right? And these, this is kind of like one of the big time gates for getting this backpack. It, it, these things for the fractal journals. You get these from doing challenge modes and daily recommended fractals. But I already did daily recommended fractals. So we're in business. It's absolutely free. We need another two and a half K relics and 22 pristine relics. But honestly, that is also super easy to get as well. That's not going to take us very long. We get a lot of fractals every, we get a lot of fractal relics every day alongside the pristines. So this shouldn't be too much of a problem. After that, we've got to do the collection and farm a little bit of gold. But again, uh, it's actually not that expensive. You can see that we actually already have a lot of value here. We have these Mystic Clothes that we got just by doing a lot of the Return 2 achievements and just logging into the game every day. So that's pretty easy. And of course, we have a little bit of gold lying around us. So we actually only need 600 gold to get ourselves a Legendary Backpack. And Legendary Backpacks are very high value. And the reason for that is because... Backpacks are probably the most annoying um, accessory, sorry, trinket to go for, right? Like, back piece is super annoying. Accessory is also a bit of a pain as well, um, but we'll work on that later. But the backpack, definitely the highest value in having infinite backpacks for all of our characters. It's going to be pretty good. It's going to be a good thing. So let's get in there and get to work. Boom. And first of all, well, I'm going to do some dailies. I'll do dailies at the same time. But we've got to go talk to an NPC. Talk to Kelvi in Fractals of the Mist. Right, let's get in there. Boom! Well, actually, let's, let's make a group first. Maybe there isn't... Wait, maybe there is a group. Oh, look at that. Let's go. CM's tier 4. 10k! Oh, I don't want to do CM's yet. That's illegal. That is actually illegal. Oh, tier 4 dailies all welcome. Ooh. I'm in. I am in. All welcome. Tier 4 dailies. Let me actually go to my heal build. I'm probably going to play heal firebrand a little bit more than the hybrid build these days. Because unfortunately the firebrand rework kind of bopped hybrid firebrand. When I started the Zero to Hero I actually picked uh, Guardian specifically for the hybrid build. Because it's like the ultimate carry of healing and DPS at the same time. But actually that build is not quite as strong as it once was to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to to not run it as much. Right now the question is. Uh, you know what's weird? I actually have no idea where this NPC is that I need to talk to. Uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> where is he? Uh, maybe we have to teleport somewhere. Uh, no! Is he over here? Maybe he's in a fractal. We just don't know. Oh, there he is, actually. Well, I mean, I guess that's pretty obvious. The legendary observer. Look, I'm not I'm going to press yes. We're going to talk to him. What's that on your back? Whoa, that's crazy. Boom. 
And now we have a book. We click the book and it unlocks the collection. Wow. And well, we're not really going to be doing this just yet. We'll do the dailies first, but we will do it. Yes, he's got the wings, guys. That's so crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Here we go. Chaos Fractal, guys. But yeah, we're playing a slightly lower energy build than previously, but don't worry, it will definitely pay off. Uh, because this build is actually a pretty hard carry, actually, in Fractals, to be honest. I should not even really be bothering with many of those skills. I've got to get out of that habit. I need to pick up a shield, too. Maybe even a mace. Although Axe is still quite nice for the Fury, but... Yeah, I'll probably break out the, uh, the mace shield. Mmm, Aegis. Very strong. Let's go. I'm ready to go. Let's game. Oh, whoa, look at this. Wait, do we have... T I think we have two healers. I think this... Oh! <laughs> uh, no! I'm also fallen. It's unfortunate stuff. We'll never make it. You know, I haven't done fractals for a while. In fact, the last time I did fractals, funnily enough, actually was the zero to hero. Crazy, right? Crazy. Insane. Well, that was an intense jumping segment, though. Oh, the dialogue is overlapping. Oh, they, they're crossing the streams. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. Go. I'm in. Ooh, this. Mega stability. It's the only way. Well, seeing as we do have two healers, at least we will not be lacking in uh, not dyingness. Which is pretty good. This is big. I mean, the Reaper's tankier. Look at this. This is a Giga Chad build, though, you know? Reaper putting in the work. That high durability gaming. All welcome. This is all welcome, LFG, guys. All welcome. We're opening it up. We're going full all welcome gameplay. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's dying pretty quickly. Fractals do not have a lot of health. That's something that you always remember whenever you get into a group that has a lot of damage, is that things just die immediately. <laughs> I should probably just put on some more uh, DPS, to be honest. I don't think I've got to get my power mechanist on this account set up, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But let's see, what do we actually have to do for this back piece here, for part one? So, we have to buy something with pristines, buy something else with pristines, Swamp Challenge Mode 1 through 20. Aquatic Challenge Mode 1 through 20. Uh, ooh, Jade Moor in less than 5 minutes. Whoa. Ascalonian uh, Fractal Field Research Paper. Complete daily recommend fractals, blah, blah, blah. Complete a journal exchange it for an Ascalonian Research Paper from an Ascalonian Field Researcher. The end of Urban Battle. We're actually doing... We're, I, it, that's actually daily today, so I need to go and make a fractal journal then. Before we do that, so that's good. Gigantic elemental core. So we have to go and do the Svanir Shaman, I think. Yeah, we have to do that. Volcanic Fractal. Uh, swamp Moss. So that's Swampland Fractal. Buy a prototype thing. Easy. Combine plus four agony with magical fissure in Bloomhunger's domain. Okay, that's pretty easy as well. All right, I think the way I'm actually going to approach this is I'll just do this whenever the dailies come up. And I guess I'll have to go and specifically find these ones. But actually, you'll quite often see people doing the low-level fractals to get the back piece, so I actually suspect that will be quite easy to do. Um, so, but, And anyway, I still need some more relics anyway, so I'm not in a super big rush about this, but that's going to be the next... Uh, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be good. There we are. One daily completed. I should probably do Rex as well, because I need the relics and the pages. Mmm. Lovely. I must go and collect my fractal pages so I can make a journal when we go to Urban Battleground. 
Yeah, I should probably sort the DPS. I think one of the things that I'm actually going to gear next will be to have, like, a really solid thing for every role. This is going to be... Uh, people might think this is boring, but I'm actually going to gear, like, the really overpowered DPS specs that people don't play anymore. For example, I must gear Power Mechanist and play Power Mech on this account. Um, why? Because it's actually insane. You know, and I actually blame myself for this. You know, in my last tier list, the chat bullied me into rating it as an A tier, not an S tier build. I now completely disagree with that assessment. I've been playing a little bit of Power Mechanist on stream recently, and that build is S tier by far, not even remotely a question. Um, that build is absolutely insane. Uh, it is broken. It is busted. It's still one of the best builds out there. Same thing with Scourge. People really have started to drift away from Scourge, kind of in favor of Virtuoso, which makes sense. But Scourge, it is still broken, actually. It is one of the best builds in the game. It is disgusting. Embrace the Scourge. Play Scourge. Don't run from Scourge. I probably have to hand in this journal. I don't know exactly where, but it's... Probably the end of the fractal, if I had to guess. Because that makes sense, right? So we have to give this journal to someone in the urban battleground fractal. Uh, and then they'll give us a thing. They will give us a thing. And it's going to be good. I don't really know uh, why I have all the stability. It's not really going to help that much. But at least we have two healers. We can easily outheal all of this damage. That's the good news. Get Siege Master Dolphy. You know, this is what happened to Dolphy. People say, where did Dolphy go? Well, this is what happened. She actually got absorbed into the game. A terrible fate. Is it in here? I need to find this NPC. Uh, wait, where was it? The Ascalonian... Ah! Got him. Right, here we go. You. I'm observing things. I need a new guidebook. Here's a book for you. Ooh, book obtained. I like to see it. Very nice. There it is. Collection underway. Uh, let's see. Rex? Question mark. I love Rex. Ooh, let's see if we can get any of these things done in the recommended fractals. So tier, it's going to be tier one, the reactor. I don't think we have to do that, do we? Unlucky. We probably have to do it later, though, I suppose. Oh, man. They're skipping Rex. You guys... God, you can't do that. You can't skip Rex, man. Oh, no. Well, I mean, fair enough, I guess. Why... Why did they do this? Okay. This is, so, this is such a strange collection. Why do they say, Ah. Legendary Backpack. Do fractal level one. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about these things just yet. Okay, let's go ahead and we can do some of the buying stuff. Yeah. Let's buy some things. Uh, you have to do it on level, exactly level 20 is the Jade Kraken timed thing. So what do you have to do here? Um, prototype, Fractal, Capacitor. Okay. I guess I'll buy a Berserker one. That probably makes sense. Here we go. Boom! Okay. And we need some other things here as well, I think. What does it want? Char nip. Okay. Boom. Easy. What else? This is from a different one, apparently. This one. Okay. Defender of Ascalon for some pristines. There we are. Lovely. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I can do for now. I'll go do the open world stuff, I guess, after this. It's time for open world gaming. Uh, this is a rack, right? Uh, oh, we're in the LFG's racks. Yeah. I love racks. We've got to get those pages and just more relics in general. X Fire Wizard X. I like that. That's that's a good name. Let's see. Are we I, I've got to open the chest, guys. Ha! Huh. Seriously, I get so much good stuff. Are you kidding me? Gold Fractal Hammer. 
Let's go. I mean, I don't really care about that. Ooh, Black Line Salvage Kit. That's that's actually a pretty good run, though. We got Black Line Salvage Kit and the Gold Fractal Hammer. Not bad at all. I'll just salvage this thing immediately, though. I don't really need it. There we are. Golden Fractal Relic. How many of these gold things do I even have? I must have quite a lot of them. Yeah, I have four gold fractal weapons already. Nice. Look at that. Incredible. I mean, it's not that rare. It's a little bit rare, though, right? X Fire Wizard X. Yeah, we're going to have to do something about this uh, this inventory, guys. This obviously is not... This is obviously pretty bad. This is obviously not great. I'm going to have to sort this out. I think I'm actually going to sell... I think I can sell this thing, right? The Fragment of Prismatic Light. I think I can sell it. Once this item has been acquired, it can safely be sold or discarded. Right, boom. Easy sell. Nice. Okay. I'm going to salvage some of these rares as well. Get out of here. Let's go. Nice. Well, let me just sell the unidentified gear, actually. This is a faster way of doing it. Okay. Boom. 23 gold, guys. We're making bank. Uh, I, oh, I can, uh, I don't, I, oh, well, I actually, yeah, I could convert a loads of these into potions, couldn't I? Into relics, but I don't need to right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Ooh, yes. That reminds me. Uh, we need to go. These are all challenge modes. That's easy. We need Svanir Shaman. Is that happening now? That's pretty unlikely, right? Oh, the Svanir Shaman is not for ages. It's not for another hour. What the fuck? That's bullshit. Oh, I must remember to get a plus four agony infusion. In fact, I'm going to buy one now and carry it around until daily swamp. Because otherwise I'm going to get there and I'm going to forget. So here we go. Plus four. Very nice. Ah, and we need a ball of dark energy. Okay. Ooh, 71 gold. Nice. So we need to salvage some ascended. I think I'm just going to do that. Let's do that now. So what do we need here? For balls of dark energy, how many do I need for this? Let's actually look it up. Aetherblade recruitment form. How, much, how many of these things do we need? We need one. Okay, so we can probably salvage one ascended item. And then we're good to go. Okay. Let's salvage one of these frost saws of chilling, seeing as I have three of them. That seems like something that we could do. Okay. First Ascended Salvage. Here we go. And there we are. We actually got our ball. Oh, a Vision Crystal too. That's actually somewhat convenient because, uh, well, we kind of need some of those anyway. Uh, there we are. Lovely. We got our Ball of Dark Energy. Nice. We have to salvage quite a lot to get this back piece, I guess. But that is fine. Because we are going to be obtaining a huge amount of Ascended as we progress. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Vision crystal, this thing. I mean, I might as well just, you know, wait. I'm going to use it. There we go. We're going to we're gonna get the Ascended Recycling Achievement. Fractal Reliquary, actually quite a nice thing to have. Obviously a little expensive. Not It'll take a while to pay off, but it will eventually pay off, of course. There you go. Never mind that, guys, because we've got a Svane Shaman Chief to take down. Here we go. It's probably one of my least favorite rework bosses. You know, it's pretty cool. It's a custom model now, which is, you know, that's something, I guess. But, I mean, look at the sponge. Look at the sponge on this. It's actually ridiculous. This guy is way tankier than most endgame bosses in, you know, in uh, expansions. Look at him. Insane. Actually insane. But we will obliterate him to obtain our gigantic... 
ice elemental core from the remains of the giant ice elemental. I think this is what it wants, right? Wait, is this actually what it wants us to do? I think it is. I could have sworn that you get it from beating this boss. But we'll see, I guess. Wow. Like, it's still above 50% health. That's actually insane. They definitely juiced this guy's health points up a lot. Right, like, big time. He's turned into an Omega Ice thing. What are we gonna do? Look at him go. This is wild. Well, we are gonna win. I don't think the boss can beat us. We have 11 minutes to win. I wonder what the stats are and how often this fails. I can't imagine this fails if there are actually people here. Even a relatively low amount of people should be able to completely farm this, I think. Because obviously, the less people you have, it will have less health because it will scale down a bit. 35% health on this riveting encounter. We're going to get it done. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, let's do this. I think we're doing it. I, it feels like we're doing it. To me, anyway. Oh. He's getting further away from the event. He's running away from his own spawn point. Nice! And there it is. Whoa, that's actually the first time I have done that event. Whoa! That's insane. And there it is. We have our giant, gigantic ice elemental core. So I think I actually have all of the things that I need at this point. So now I just have to take them into the fractals. I have to go and do these fractal speed motes. I have to go into volcanic fractal. I have to do swamp fractal and go to open world somewhere. Um, that's another swamp, swamp fractal that we got to do. Oh, this is uh, yeah. We have to do swamp challenge mode and swamp there as well, and then the eighth ledge recruitment form, which is in the Mitren boss fractal. So yeah, we basically just need to do a bit of gameplay, and then we'll move on to the next step of the collection. Um, I'm not going to rush this, though. I'm mostly just going to do all of these things when I have dailies. Maybe even get these done during the recommended fractal. So I'll do wrecks, right? And then if the wreck is one of these ones that I need, I'll enable it. Uh, the reason for that is because I still need to grind a, a good chunk of fractal relics. So I'm not really in a rush to finish these, um, to finish this collection. So we'll, we'll get on that. We'll get on that eventually. Yeah. What are the fractals today, for example? Uh, 24... Which is something. 35, 75. Wow. Although maybe I'll just get them all done in one go. That's also a possibility, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, I think that's actually going to do it. Uh, that's going to be about it for today, I think. That is going to be the end of that, I think. 